Hi everyone, welcome to week seven. This week we'll be finishing up the midterm based on some Golden and Silver Age comics and then uh, Dark Knight Returns. You're also going to be looking at Watchmen and we'll be reading chapters nine through 12 where as you can see, uh, Doc Manhattan returns with Lori. This is part of the motion comic. There's, we'll look at the prompt. There's an American Malls of the 1980s video thing happening here. The, <laughs> yes, all malls were carpeted. It was pretty disgusting. And so just kind of what people wore who was at the mall this yeah the hair of it all oh my gosh the 80s hair the great wall they used to call those bangs and um anyway so you might want to take a look at these these are the kind of things your parents were wearing in the 1980s so you'll be looking at that and then you have these motion comics. If you want to, if you're interested in watching those, they're pretty good. Like I say, if you try to write a paper based on them, you're going to, um, it won't, I can, it's easy to tell because you won't know any of the, they don't go into any of the back material, the back pages material. And at the end of each chapter, there's like under the hood, there's an excerpt from the um, fictional autobiography. There's Rorschach's, you know, file and that kind of things. Uh, some marketing material from Ozymandias' corporation. Um, so you want to be sure to read the books. And then, so you're going to submit the final draft to the Dropbox. Uh, I hope all your peer reviews, they look like they went pretty good. So I'm glad to see that. And then you have a discussion post about history. Again, your student learning outcomes. So let's take a look at this midterm handout. Be sure you read this just, you know, once before you say, oh, I'm done. I'm going to turn it in. So you can make sure. Um, these are the books you will consider. The last one is this Batman, the Dark Knight Returns, which, you know, gets into the modern age, um, the Bronze Age. <laughs> the, these ages are this kind of loosely defined. Um, but, you know, you have some other ones that get in here too. Deadly Force, 1994. And uh, this is the Women in the Refrigerators comic. If whatever prompt you're writing about, I would read it before you turn it in just to make sure you're covering everything. And then kind of look at the final draft. Here's what we're doing. It should be between 1,000 and 1,250 words. And then there's a checklist. So I check that you know, read it, make sure you're doing everything you need to be doing in there. Uh, the prompt PDF is right there. Final draft. Again, the checklist is listed in here. I wanted to give you all week to get this done. So there's not a whole lot of other stuff to do in here to view your similarity rating. Here's, um, you know, handout on that after your final paper has been graded, It'll be graded on a rubric, and then you'll be viewing the rubric to look at the grade. And it's it's not hard to do. It's in your it's either in my grades or in the grade book. And that's about it for this week, other than the discussion post, which we'll take a look at, because I want you to spend a lot of time revising your final draft. So this week it says it's about um, Watchmen. It says the novel is set in a realistic society and begins on October 12th. Columbus Day with Rorschach's description of a murder victim with a bloodstain on chest like map of violent new continent. How do you explain the elements of history? Moore keeps factual and those he twists. Why does the author choose to alter reality the way he does? Um, it's interesting, especially at the end of the book, you're going to see it's really kind of interesting how he kind of changes history and we've kind of entered this utopian uh, kind of thing. I don't want to tell you what the end is. The end is nothing like the movie. So if you saw the movie, uh, one of the interesting questions I like to go into at some point uh, with a class, it's kind of hard to do online, is 
you know, why do you think they changed the end, the end of the mo- the end of the movie as much as they did? It's pretty obvious once you kind of look at it, but I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. And then it asks your responders, how do your conclusions compare to your classmates? Uh, in order to get full credit for discussion posts, you need to answer or respond to two of your peers. So again, this week, you're just working on getting this final draft together, finishing Watchmen. If you need to catch up, you know, this is another week you can catch up on doing all the reading for that. And as usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Thanks for watching the video.